Once upon a time in a land not so far away, there lived a seventh son awaiting the birth of his seventh son. Alas, the day of the birth was not to be a happy day, as the surprise birth of twins also surprisingly took the life of their mother. Their distraught father ordered the midwife to dispose of them in the river, and so she did. Or so she thought. What was supposed to be their little grass basket coffins turned out to be their salvation as the river took them and they floated downstream toward their respected fates. The baby boy landed in the enchanted forest where he was raised by a kindly hermit and taught the ways of nature and magic. The baby girl on the other hand landed in the dark swamp where she was raised by a voodoo witch and taught the ways of power and sorcery. The young boy became a powerful alchemist, skilled in the art of transformation and directing the energies of nature by diligently practicing his craft. The young girl became a sorceress and a powerful ruler, skilled in the arts of manipulating the dark forces of chaos by destroying others and stealing their powers. One day, as she was searching for more power and victims in a crystal ball, she came upon the boy just as he was creating a powerful talisman ring from his late master's grimoire. Blinded by her desires, she attacked the brother she did not know she had so that she can feed on his departing soul and steal his powers. Here the mind of man obscures our tale, as different folk weave different yarns about what happened that day. And yet, as always, the end is just the beginning. And so, our story continues. Ni hao. Ni hao. <laughs> weird shop, weird things, weird guy behind the counter. Next up, a mogwai. Hmm, I'm sure I've seen this somewhere. Yes, yes, wonderful. Yeah, it just jumped at me over there. If it rings that intuitive bell, go for it, I always say. Do you know anything about it? Very old. Alchemist's ring. A magician's ring. I said alchemist. A magician do parlor tricks. Alchemist unlock the root of reality. Big difference. Yes, Mr. Chow. Sorry, Mr. Chow. Please tell me more, Mr. Chow. Long time ago, destiny separated a brother and sister. He studied building the locks of the world to make a better one. She to rule a world and to be queen. He make a magic ring that helps see what really is. She tries to steal it and they blow each other up. A book gone, ring gone. That's 20 bucks, please. Only to magically turn up in your shop, eh? Destiny is a funny thing, a younger Johnny. We don't see, but all things connected and happen for a reason. What did we call real and experience with our senses? Only tip of iceberg and only makes up 10% of what actually exists. Other so-called empty 90% is, well, that's what you're finding out. Stop looking and learn to see. Yes, Mr. Chow, I try. There is no try, only do. <laughs> you really are full of surprises. Thanks for the ring and see you next week. Then we can finish that chess game. Just let me finish exams this week. I'll be here. Time you make a friend, Johnny. Work, laugh, drink, fuck. Time and place for all.
can't get over the feeling I know this room. No way! I know that place! Gotcha! Let's swim to the moon uh -huh. Let's climb through the tide Clear your mind, different states of vibration. Sustain the same sense of self. Place with a form of energy and sense of consciousness. Everything is energy in different states of vibration. Illusion, illusion, separation. illusion, illusion. illusion. And that's kind of what was the challenge. Changing your vibration changes you and tunes you to so other what? similar vibrations. The place where the falling angel meets the rising angel. Clear your mind. Spend sense of self. Expand and shift into the other. Changing yourself. Changing the other. Telekinesis. Hmm. Oh God. God. My God. God. No freaking way. That's my roof. This is crazy. What am I doing here? Here. 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 This weird. is getting weird. Really weird. I want, I want what's, what's mine. What's mine. Oh, hell no. You know the day this runs Dispose of them in the river. Dispose of them, brother. She did not know she had. She attacked the brother. Who are you? I'm Julie. I'm Johnny. We have to we talk. Have to talk. My family is a rich bunch of bastards who believe in the power of the buck, not the power of the soul. And is oblivious to the fact that the master lives to serve. Oh yeah, I've heard that. After my mom died, no one talked about her again. And I was pretty much left to my own devices. So for a long time, I never knew what I saw. Some of the things I can do is not what most people consider normal. Like frying people with your hands? Like frying people with my hands. Like moving things with my mind. Like having vision. I'm starting to know the feeling. Yes, I'm sure. I started scratching around in the family history and discovered I come from a long line of powerful witches. Something the rest of my family, of course, completely discounts and denies. And that's how you found out about the lost twins and the book and the ring 
And why you came looking for them and found me? Pretty much. But what does this have to do with me? And how come I suddenly also have these powers? I mean, I'm a taste tube baby raised in an institutional freak show of behavioral scientists. You know, you could very well be from the Alchemist Twins bloodline, while I come from the Sorceresses. It would certainly explain a lot, don't you think? Indeed. And, you know, that makes us family. So, what do we do now, Pinky? Try to take over the world? Oh, hell no. The world doesn't need ruling or saving. You know what they say, don't fight the darkness, turn on the light. Give me that, you gullible dick. <laughs> oh, how it's die hard. Indeed they do. So what do we do now, you ask? We ride the snake. And yet, as and yet, as always, the end is just the beginning, and so our story continues. The end is just the beginning. The beginning. So, our story continues. Better than all the rest that I meet in the summer. Yeah.